Dr. Michael Bernstein is used to playing the doctor, but when he developed symptoms of a stroke, he became the patient facing a serious health risk. When I went to get out of my small car, I had a little trouble lifting my leg, and then I realized I was having uh, difficulties uh, with motor function. Dr. Bernstein lives in what's known as the stroke belt, a region where your chances of having a stroke increase dramatically. The stroke belt runs from Arkansas, Mississippi, up through Alabama, Georgia, and the Carolinas. Deaths from strokes are about 50% higher here, and there's no clear explanation for it. Although the stroke belt has existed for 50 years, we really don't know the causes or the reasons why, why more people are dying in the South than in the rest of the nation. Dr. George Howard, professor and chair of biostatistics in the UAB School of Public Health, heads up a federally funded research program called the Regard Study which is looking for reasons behind these unexplained stroke deaths. The study follows 30,000 people, half from the South and half from the rest of the country. 2,000 live in Alabama. Researchers also want to find out why African Americans are hit so much harder than the rest of the population. There are two great mysteries in stroke. One is Southerners dying more of stroke, but also uh, African Americans die more of stroke. In addition to being a public health threat, the devastating impact of strokes in the stroke belt is an economic drain, costing the country an extra $2.4 billion a year. Doctors say even small advances in treatment will pay huge dividends. Researchers believe there are several answers to this mystery. They're looking at everything from genetics to infections to how soon patients seek treatment and recognize the symptoms of a stroke. Um, and only if we can understand what causes these disparities can we target the interventions to reduce them. Uh, without knowledge of what's causing it, it we're in essence uh, making shots in the dark. The REGARD study has already shed some light by following where stroke deaths are concentrating over the years. There's an interesting fact about the stroke belt. It's interesting. One of the most fascinating things is that it's moving. And why is just one of many questions Dr. Howard and his team at UAB hope to answer in the coming years.